How's it going guys? My name is Graham and this is the demo for the upcoming Speed Limit, a game that is due out sometime this spring. They have it listed Q2 2020 and it is about your daily train commute just generally gone wrong. This is really pounding action, heavy soundtrack going on. Dirty bum with a gun. Bum with a gun. I should be more clear about that. And also we have a gun and also that guy has a gun. There's a lot of guns going around. Mind the gat? Is your commute killing you is the achievement. Was I not supposed to just immediately run into the other room like that? I feel like that was uh, generally a mistake. What if I just, if you just stand still and take it? Uh, that's not recommended. <laughs> you can also just start shooting everyone. So what if I just start shooting this agent and everything? Can I not, can I not take all these guys? What's with that guy just sitting there reading his book, you know? How is he getting through the day? He's... I, I wish I had that ability to turn my mind off like that. It's absolutely incredible how much that guy's able to tune things out. That was pretty cool. The section where you go through like the tunnel or whatever and things start looking a lot darker. I see there's like this emo kid flipping his hair around and other goofy stuff like that. Try and get some crouched, more crouched shots in there as, as they're changing up their tactics. By changing up their tactics, I mean they either stand or they get on their knees. Oh, there is a secret agent. I just noticed there's no ammo or anything. And what's that guy doing, like, leaning on his back? Oh, I'm going to die. They didn't get moving enough. There's a guy, like, leaning on his back, kicking his feet around, uh, reading his book or whatever the hell he was doing. I don't even know if he was doing anything that productive. I guess people do weird things on the train. I shouldn't be that surprised. They're bursting their way in through the windows and things like that. I, I don't know what to do about the, the armored, shielded guys, actually. I took one out, kind of incidentally. I might... Damn it. I might have to wait for them to, like, lower their, their shield specifically before I can do anything about that. See, does that just reflect back and kill me? I feel like I might have just got real lucky that one time with the timing of it all. I gotta get into, like, the rhythm. It's it's interesting that this is all preset, but I guess if uh, the game's all like action oriented and everything, look at that guy with the, <laughs> whatever he was doing, just <laughs> running out along the the top of the train. There, he was catching up. He's very fast. He's a fast runner. He's got to deal with those outside conditions. I don't have to worry about any of that sort of shit. I can just do my own thing, just firing things up like crazy. See, I'm trying to bump his shield to see if that does anything. Let me practice on these guys. <laughs> what happens if I shoot you with the shield? Nothing. I just I just continually shoot the shield and it doesn't seem to really matter. Until someone eventually just tosses tosses a grenade. This really escalated really quickly. It went from this drunken bum who just happened to stumble on here and all of a sudden I gotta deal with all this craziness? How is this my fault and why is no one else contributing? I see no reason why this should have all fallen on my lap like that. Huh. I can shoot up. That's a new thing I just realized because the the guard or the SWAT guy in that last section shot down at me. Like he he totally shot. <laughs> okay, see that's awesome. I'm gonna get this guy that way too. If these guys are gonna shoot diagonally like that at me, then I gotta figure out other other means here. How do I deal with this guy? What are what are my I I can jump? I. <laughs> I think that's the only other thing I have in my in my arsenal. I don't think I'm gonna do any cool tricks. Jackie Chan moves, Steven Seagal, Jason Statham, I don't know, Transporter. I don't think I'm gonna be able to achieve anything particularly cool by just doing a tiny little hop like that. Unless, unless I can make it to the outside. If they're punching their way in, maybe I can punch out. <laughs> There's everyone's there waiting for me. I saw there was a fire alarm, and I thought maybe I should go try and pull that. And try to use that as a means of escape or something. No luck. Oh, I can do kind of an angled shot as well. Look how cool I look when I do it. Right now, I'm kind of a little bit stuck. I assume there's, like, checkpoints and things, but I'm not entirely sure, because the, the game claims to be largely, like, about continuous action. Oh, I didn't kill the guy who was crouched. There's a reason you're not reloading or anything. The game wants you to feel like you're continually moving and doing things, and it's just like non-stop in that regard. One thing I haven't tried in a while, or maybe have tried but haven't executed quite properly the way I was meant to, like I might have kind of done it accidentally before, I do just kind of have to run into him. 
I feel like that's totally the way I like disrupt it. But God, that's hard to pull off properly. I bump into him and then he seems to recover quite quickly and he's not the only one who's trying to take me down, you know? <laughs> you take your eyes off of the wrong guy for even just a fraction of a second and you're, you're toast. Sometimes you just get a little overly excited about one particular set of guys and then you start shooting at the wrong person. Oh, crawling my way through. Then we got that guy who jumps on up. I took out the guy from up above. I gotta bounce you off. Going into the room blind. Oh, I see. I see you secret agent boys. Prepping, getting ready for, for a big showdown. Now I, now I know what to look for. Now I know that, that it's an actual thing. Oh god, I got more grenade guys. Oh, he threw a grenade at me. He's coming for me. <laughs> I gotta try and stay ahead of that a little bit. Put, uh, take all those guys down. Just one headshot after another. Blowing all, all their kneecaps, I guess, is my next particular target. I don't know what's up with that one guy who's, like, standing. Oh god, we're going past so many things. There's so many things blocking my way. That guy looks like he's peeing or something. He's just standing there awkwardly facing the other direction. Damn, I made it way further that time. But then you, you hold up a little bit. It's kind of like, I don't know, Dino Dino Run? Or there's like a lot of other games that have a similar functionality in them where there's uh, kind of like a ticking clock working against you, pushing up from the other direction there. And I feel like I kind of got that working against me here a little bit. That, wow, I, I don't remember there being a, an agent there before. Maybe I'm losing track of which rooms are which and everything at this point. It's entirely possible. There's been a lot going on. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a little bit, like, frantic by all this. Oh, I have to shoot through that. I kind of just did it incidentally before. I didn't realize that was, like, necessary to to advance past those blockades. Just crouch, get ready for some nice low-to-the-ground stuff. I, I killed those guys before they could even <laughs> attempt to break through the wall there. That's some proactive, proactive killing I got going on. Jesus, there's so many things. That guy's trying to shoot me from the top there again. <sighs> you reach that room and you really are just stuck in like a multitude of ways. There just truly is not, not a lot that can be done when all of a sudden you got a blockade that you can't seem to be able to shoot through and you got those guys coming up from you, coming up for you on the other end there. It's a bit, it's a bit much. There's a lot going on. <laughs> I've potentially hit my personal speed limit. I, I tried to dial it up. Go 100 the whole time. And uh, there, there is a breaking point. There's a, there, a limit is the word I think people would typically use. And at that point, you just can't do no more. It's gone as hard and as far as it can. But I'm, I'm hard. We's hard. I'm not going to let it stop me. Not you and your, your foolish trench coat. What makes you think that your trench coat can match the power of an angry commuter who's had a terrible long day of work and who's apparently still getting off of work in the daylight, but who just wants to make it home and play video games? You think you can stop me? <laughs> I'm, I will stop at absolutely nothing. I don't care how many hobos wander onto the train and wave guns around and SWAT teams come in endless, literally endless droves. I will not let it stop me. I have so much else I need to be need to be worried about. See that that room, it's so black. And there's that, that blockade that you're trying to run past. And at that point, that guy, that guy has got me so many times. Cause I, I turn around, I do a couple crouch shots, but quite often, more than zero. I I don't I don't quite do enough. He still managed. There, I did it again, and I was so aware. I was so aware that time that I had let it happen again. Fine, whatever, man. Take me out. I'm blasting my way through. All right, well, you can't you can't kill the agent no matter what. Then the guy with the riot shield, he's not the type that can be blocked. You know, that, that's a terrible... He's bad at his job. If your job is to be the riot shield guy and you can be undone by someone bumping into your riot shield, isn't that largely what it's for? <laughs> like, I really think this guy should be... A, put behind the desk or something, you know? Like, it, it really does seem to be the one thing that you're contributing to the team here, man, and you're just... That time you did it fine, so I guess I can't be that critical. <laughs> but if a, a crowd of people came and bumped your shield, and then that was just like, oh shit, I, I didn't see that coming, and you drop your shield? Yeah, I'm sorry, man, you're... 
I don't think you're cut out for this. You're just generally not the right guy for the job. I'm sorry to say, there are trained professionals who fare much better in that particular circumstance. And if you can't cut the, the, the grit, I don't know what phrase it is I'm looking for, but that's not it. I made up that up. That's that's just not a real thing. It, it's hard to keep an eye out for these grenades. They just kind of toss them in there. I realize they made them like bright yellow, absolutely for the player's sake to make it easier to see. And somehow it still still gets gets to me a little bit. I think I have to I have to wait for that guy to. Live. Oh, I just realized I gotta jump. It's the first time I have to jump, and so I didn't even think of using that. <laughs> I have two two skills in my arsenal. I didn't think to use the second one. It just took so long before it even came up and became relevant that I just kind of forgot about it entirely. So you can't can't blame me for that, can you? Blame society, <laughs> as the Joker would would want you to do. You know, maybe I just have to shoot at that guy point blank. Maybe it's not about uh, bumping his shield. That's what it is. It's just that you have to run up close enough to shoot him through his little uh, riot shield when I just realized those guys are gonna be coming up behind me. I can't be like distracting myself by doing things like motioning with my hands and taking my hand off the controller like that. That's just absolutely not the way to do things. I shouldn't have like activated the the far end of the cart there by running into that end of it. I gotta stay stay focused. Try and try and only uh, deal with one threat at a time here. If I start getting ahead of myself, angled shots, trying to do his job better than he does. That's all it is. That's way better actually, because like trying to trying to do it where you bounce off the shield first, that does take away like a second of your reaction time. And I I did die a few times because of that. That time I died because that guy's aim was incredible. Are you kidding me? Sharpshooter. Guinness world record holder There was no winning against that. Okay. I take take no blame that time. That, that was my fault I take I take some blame on that one the satisfaction of headshotting the SWAT guys now that I understand that that's that's what their thing is I didn't know there was a grenade in the mix. It's it's kind of sick <laughs> but with the smoothness and action-packedness of the the animation and like I don't know, it makes me feel a little bit John Wick or whatever to just run in guns blazing and just pow, right right in their face. Maybe it should make me feel more like Trinity from The Matrix, given her whole line where that's a thing, but pow, look how satisfying that is. That's incredible. <laughs> that actually like genuinely has like a really fun, cool effect to it. I That might be the first time I ever noticed that uh, there was a guy trying to throw grenades at me at the end of that room, prior to coming into this room. I somehow hadn't noticed that before. This is it. This is the attempt, you know? This is the one where I, I'm I'm sticking to my guns. <laughs> everything's, everything's coming up. Random commuter guy. This is what you were made for, buddy. I got them coming up from the other side, trying to keep moving forward. There's so many coming at me. If I just keep moving, that's probably my best bet. Try and turn around and get a couple more shots off. Oh! There's so many built up on the roof there. At that at that point, I really had to just like stop and try and deal with the guys on the roof. But it's hard when it's dark like that, and you assume more guys are coming. I'm trying to do like a really, really slow. <laughs> I'm taking it easy. I'm trying to go for like 100% accuracy here. No wasted shots. It does kind of have like a fun zenness once you are familiar with like the patterns of enemies and things. He knifed me in the back of the head. That was really awesome. <laughs> Sucks that I died, but that was cool. That was like a cool moment that I hadn't seen up until that point. There you guys have it. Speed limit. I feel like I've only scratched the surface. I'm pretty interested to see what they do with the game from here, because I feel like it has a lot of potential. It's flash gamey in the best possible way. Like it, it feels like they took something that worked really well from like a flash game lifted it, expanded it, and, and made this out of it. And I'm very happy with that, because I think it came together very well. Now that we've seen this guy get shot in the head like 400 times, it's like that Jake Gyllenhaal movie. I forget what it's called. Eagle Eye. Something like that. Good movie. Watch it. Good game. Play it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.